What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I hope everyone is doing well. I created a new um, tarot spread that I'm doing for all 12 of the, zo <clears throat> the zodiac signs. I'm losing my voice. I'm on the sign of Scorpio. There's 11 different parts of this reading. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, check out the about section of the channel for more information in the description box below. So this is going to go over either someone that you're currently dealing with, someone you could deal with in the future, or it could be a past situation for some of you as well. If you're cross-watching, then it's usually on the roles are reversed and it would be kind of the opposite. So for this reading, there's 11 different parts. There it goes over the appearance of this person, um, this person's profession, um, how they express themselves, some facts about this person, um, some of their fears, some fiction, maybe some things that are not true, um, their desires, their abilities, some things that are unknown, and the message and an outcome for this particular person and situation. Scorpio, what is the appearance of this person? You have the Four of Fire. The profession is Two of Air. Expression, Nine of Earth. The facts about this person is the Page of Earth. Fears, it's the Emperor. Fiction is the King of Water. Um, desires, Queen of Water. Abilities, Message of Fire. Unknown is the Five of Fire and um, the message is the Ten of Water and the outcome Seven of Water. as well as the Queen of Fire and the Two of Water. So the bottom is the King of Earth. You could be dealing with an Earth sign or someone with these qualities. I also saw the Chariot cards. You could be dealing with the Cancer. Um, for some of you, so how this person appears. <clears throat> How this person appears, you have the four of fire. This person appears to be um, maybe happily stable or committed elsewhere. Um, this person could be some type of musician. This um, woman is playing a flute. She also has butterfly wings. Um, I feel like this person has kind of a different type of beauty that's kind of exotic. Or this person maybe does things in an unconventional way. Um, and I think that it's like people feel like this person is in a relationship, but they're alone in this picture. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to keep these. So there's some type of own <clears throat> public figure, <coughs> someone who does services for others, someone who, like, is it, like, fixes homes or is a homeowner, maybe a landlord type of energy. You also have, like, some type of pastor or preacher, someone who's very religious. You have a philanthropist, actor, actress, and a model. And then you have some type of labor job or factory job and then you have business and you have some kind of delivery or um, cab driver you have spiritualist and then you have government so either this person um, has a bunch of different jobs or maybe in combination of all these things they do a lot of different things um, they're multifaceted um, someone who has an in interest in the industry of, you know, um, 
their career goals will be to kind of maybe um, be an actor or an actress or be a model. Um, someone who's also very spiritual. Um, someone who has their own business that they work really hard at. Someone who works a lot. And then a government. Um, this could be working with people. This could be working with the public. Um, some type of partnership um, situation. But I feel like this person has a lot of different, um, maybe just in their job history, but it's like they're making a decision about, you know, what it is that they want to do, even though they have a lot of different choices. I feel like they have more than one thing that they do. Um, for expression, you have the nine of earth. This talks about someone who is um, very independent, someone who does things their own way on their own time. Um, someone who's kind of like their own boss, an entrepreneur. Someone who's like my way or the highway, but at the same time, they do their own shit. Like they're completely independent. They don't really need anybody. And they probably tell a lot of people that as well. Um, it could be kind of intimidating as like strong and powerful and like what this person does. But I feel like this person works um, in a group like everyone does their own thing to work toward a common goal. Or like in a business, maybe there's different a bunch of different people like someone works with the community um someone likes to have nice things and and value security and family um someone could be in the health field or the service field but i feel like this person is very routine oriented they've done things their own way for a very long time they know what they're doing they don't want anyone to tell them what to do kind of thing um some facts about this person is you have the page of earth um, this person could have children. This person could be someone who kind of goes in their own direction, someone who kind of paves their own road. They go after their dreams and, and whatever it is that they want to do, and they're usually really like successful. I feel like this person has a lot of ideas when it comes to finances, and um, I feel like they're um, a really good communicator, but a lot of people don't know that because I feel like this person has some like fears that they're not going to be successful even though they have really good ideas um the fears of this person is the emperor the fear of this person i think is someone who um maybe is too hard or strict um like a really hard or strict parent or someone who's like really hard to work for like a tyrant kind of someone who other people wouldn't like working under type of energy because they're really um, fixated and their ego is really big I feel like this person knows that they have some issues um, with their ego and their self-esteem and like how they treat other people need some work because they don't really want to be that person but maybe the things that they've been through have made them be this type of energy but at the same time they're really highly respected um even though maybe they kind of, I feel like this person doubts themselves more than what's actually real. Um, some fiction about this person is the king of water. I feel like some fiction about this person is that they don't have emotions because they don't really express them. Um, I feel like this person, um, some fiction about them is they don't care about other people and they actually do, especially children. I feel like this person's really good with kids, um, even if they're just like not their own. I think that um, this person has the ability to um, explore things on a different mental level than other people. Um, this person does have like a public image to uphold and I feel like what they are to the public is not exactly who they are in real life. I think that they're two very polar opposite um, types of personalities. Like one is what other people see and one is what they are on a personal level. Um, for desires, you have the queen of water. <clears throat> and because it's right under the king of water, I feel like this person wants someone in their life that's as um, similar to them in their emotions and in their in the way that they care about people and the way that they do things. I feel like this person has, or maybe this person wants to expand their spirituality or um, kind of work on their intuition or their abilities type of thing. I feel like this person has really strong ancestors um, in the spiritual field, um, maybe not how they grew up and what they were taught necessarily. Um, some of you guys could be dealing um, with a Pisces, um, another Scorpio. There could be Libra, um, Leo, Gemini, um, Taurus, Aries. I feel like this person um, sponsors or invests in other people or in businesses or they want to 
to take on that energy of working and collaborating with a bunch of different people to um, create a common goal, but also like help everybody out at the same time. Um, this person just wants like someone to care about them in the same way that they care about them. You know, like that they're not the one who cares too much or the one that is um, showing all the love and like someone who doesn't show love back type of thing. They just basically want to get what they give. And um, they want someone who is like strong and able to stand up on their own two feet, but also someone who has patience with them because of the things that they maybe they have to do in their life or the things that they're going through or the changes that they're going through because this person has a lot of abilities, but they're at a stage where they're kind of like not all fully there. And there's like a, this awkward stage where it's like not quite changed, but in the process kind of thing. Um, for abilities, you have the message of fire. This person is very passionate about what they do and that what, that is what makes them successful. Um, this person actually is, uh, like, they embody divine love. They are very, um, they could have had a, a parent that was a cancer or something, or they... could work with with children that have like terminal illnesses or something like that or maybe they have an interest in helping that like having some type of organization because maybe th them or someone they know like if maybe a friend of theirs child got sick that they would be willing to help them out like you know things like people that deal with death and stuff like that like they they want to be supportive to those people and help them out in any way that they could um for what's unknown about this person, you have the five of fire. I think that what's unknown about this person is exactly what it is that they go through on a daily basis. There could be in a situation where there's a lot of fighting, where there's a, there's a lot of competition, there's a lot of expectations on them. And um, I feel like uh, in any type of field where they're dealing with technology or communications or social media, it's a cutthroat kind of business. You know, um, it has a lot of... Um, that takes a lot of self-discipline and this person has to travel a lot. This person um, has a lot of de determination um, <coughs> and they're really wise for their age. They're a leader, but it come, they come off intimidating to other people. But I feel like um, someone met this person at a time when they're going through a transformation and it's like they're changing these, these this negative aspect of themselves, but they're not quite to that point where they can be like who they would want to be in a relationship, if that makes any sense, because of the things that they've been through, even though they're working on it and they're trying not to let things bother them in the same way. Maybe this person had a bad temper in the past or this person um, needed to change something so that they could kind of rebuild and they're in the process of doing that now. Um, this person's also very protective. This person um, maybe has a... A strong relationship with their mother or they have exude that kind of energy where they take care of a lot of people um, this person is like like goofy they try to make people laugh like they want people to um, to be able to laugh about things and just kind of like joke around because um, you know the how they say laughter is the best medicine this person is like they bring joy to other people's lives like they make a lot of people laugh and they um, they're like known in their neighborhood or where they live and they're known for the things that they can do when it comes to like technology and stuff like that I have like a headache right here just don't mind me um, for a message you have the seven of water with the ten of water I think that this person could have a lot of things going on or a lot of different options but what they want you to know is that you're the one that makes them happy. Like they're the you're the one that they would choose, um, because no one makes them feel the same way that you. Like no one makes them happy in the way that you do, you know, regardless of what it looks like or what they have going on. Um, I think that you're the one that they desire, even though they're surrounded by a lot of different people, um, and they don't want you to to judge just based on that. For the outcome, you have the Queen of Fire with the Two of Water. This talks about going after what it is that you want. Um, you know, using your self-confidence to get, go after your, your, your desires because you're seen as someone who could literally have whatever it is that you want, you know, and with the two of water, I feel like there could be some disagreements with this person. There could be 
um, not um, being on the same page at all times. But at the end of the day, there is still a really strong soulmate um, partnership or bond here. If even if you guys aren't together right now, or even if you guys do part ways, that um, bond still stands, and that you know you think that they want you to know that you do make them really happy, or that you did, um, even though maybe they had to leave uh, for some family things. I just think that um, this person stays in the house a lot. This person has, like I said once again, with this public image for their career. They're working on, you know, building a legacy for their family, but they're also someone who's been through a lot of things and they're not afraid to like wait for what it is that they want and, and make the moves at the right time kind of thing. So that is all I have for Scorpio and I hope you guys have a good night.